This is our eighth in our series of proofs um, about parallel lines, uh, angles, uh, bisectors, and things like that. Uh, in this one, we're going to do something we haven't done yet, which is to prove something as an angle bisector. Uh, and to prove something as an angle bisector, essentially what you need to do is show that the two angles uh, are congruent. So we want to show that ray SA um, bisects B. Uh, angle BSR. So basically our goal is going to be show 1 uh, is congruent to 2. So in doing that we want to start by just writing down our given statements and we begin by saying that line S AS is parallel to line BT and we want to show that we we're given that a measure of angle 4 equals measure of angle 5 and our that is just given to us. So our first step after we write the given is always to try to use the given as po if possible. If not, then to get some information from the picture. Well, this par given parallel lines is always a very valuable thing. And so if you're given that AS is parallel to BT, then it seems pretty logical that we would make a couple claims. Uh, we could either claim that, you know, one claim we could make is angle 2 is congruent to angle 5. Uh, and the reason for that would just be the alternate interior angle theorem. We could also claim that angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. And we, we would know that by the uh, corresponding angle theorem or postulate. Now, you may not may be wondering why I just picked those two out. Well, one of the reasons is because that's all I know for sure. I could, uh, you know, I could do angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is 180 because you have same side interior angles are supplementary. But I'd have to go through and prove that. Um, basically, I'd have to say that angle AST plus angle 4 uh, or is, and, and angle 4 is supplementary and then do some angle addition in there. But I also now see where I want to go with this proof. And that is, as I told you, my goal is to show 1 is congruent to 2. And so here, you know, in these statements I found, I found the 1 and the 2, which is great that I have statements about those. And it's even better that I was given this statement. Because once I claim that angle 4 is congruent to angle 5, then I have all the pieces I need um, to show that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Uh, I know angle 4 is congruent to angle 5 by the definition of congruent angles. Okay, and so now using um, the, what we got from the parallel lines and what we got from our uh, measure angle 4 equal measure angle 5, we can now start using the transitive property. Now you do need to use the transitive property twice. You know, I can take these two and put them together and make the claim that angle 1 is congruent to angle 5 by the transitive property of congruence. Right, that's the transitive property of congruence, just the very definition of it. And then that was good because now I can combine these two, angle 2 congruent to angle 5, angle 5 congruent to angle 1, and now I can, that gives me exactly what I wanted, which was angle 1 congruent to angle 2. And remember, angle 1 congruent by, to angle 2 is what we were looking for. We just used the transitive property of congruence again. And so our last step is to make our claim that... SA bisects angle BSR. And the reason for that is just the definition of angle bisector. The definition of angle bisector says um, the angle bisector, the, uh, an angle bisector bisects an angle into two congruent angles. Uh, and a definition is always an if and only if statement, so that implies that. Uh, two congruent, if, two, if a line creates two congruent angles, then it is an angle bisector. So we, all we just have to do is claim the definition. And so that is a very nice proof showing how to find the uh, uh, proven angle bisector is true. Again, you're just looking for congruent angles whenever you're asked to bisect something.